What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're joined Vinicius Jr. from Real Madrid. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two large circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top, come all the way down towards the bottom, and then bring that back up towards the top. Let's line up the top all the way over on the right side and draw the same size circle. So we wanna bring that down towards the same height and back up towards the top. Now I'm going to add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So I'll start on the left, I'm just going to bring this in and back out. And then we'll fill the inside of the eyes in black and we want to go around that highlight. Now from here we move to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. We start all the way over on the left, we're going to bend the nose coming down and then back up. Now we want to move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Now we move back down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting over on the left, bend this down and then up and then we'll add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Now we're going to draw the bottom edge of the mouth. From the corners of the mouth we'll step in down the middle and back up. On the sides, draw two straight lines coming down, draw the corners of the mouth in black. Now I'm going to add a small curve along the bottom for the lip. Let's go back up to the top and add a curve for the eyebrows. We start on the outside, then it's up and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now on the inside, draw a short line going up. And then on the left, we're just going to taper this up and then down towards the outside. Now I want to draw that same curve along the top. We're going to add a little notch. We're going to go up towards the top, draw a short angle line coming down towards the bottom, go up towards the top, taper that out towards the point. Now let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now that we've completed the face, let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the left side of the eye, we're going to step out, it's going to curve the head, coming down, it's going to bend this in just underneath the mouth, go across and then up towards the right. Let's draw a short line going up the side of the head, to right about there, and then we'll add the edge of the hairline, bend this up and then in. Now we're going to connect the ends with a curve. We're going to go up in the middle, go across, and then down towards the right. Now from here we're going to draw the outside edge of the head. From these two points, then it's out, and then in. Now you want to add a series of curves going around the head. So we'll start back on the left, go out and in, go up to the top, and then down. Now we want to continue along the top, so we're just going to bend this up in the middle and then back down towards the right with these series of curves. Now we can vary the size, going across, add a couple smaller ones and larger ones. Now we're going to come back down to the side and add in the ears. Let's start on the left. Go up, come around, and then bend that in towards the side of the head. Let's add a fold along the top of the ear, bend this up and then out. Go back to the inside and add a hook, going out and then in. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw the side of the body. Let's start all the way over on the left side, just underneath the head, bend the body going out and then down towards the hip. Line this up on the right, coming down towards the same height. And I'll connect the hips with a curve, coming down and then Let's go back up to the top and center and add the collar. We step over toward the left side, draw a straight angle line coming down over towards the right. From the top, go to the right side, just gonna go across and then down towards the left. From the bottom, bend the collar going out and then up underneath the head. Let's add a small trim on the outside of the collar.
and then we'll add a little bit of detail inside the body. Let's start on the left side with the crest. Start with a straight line, and then from the ends, bend this down, then in towards the bottom. Now I'm gonna quickly write Emirates across the body. Let's start on the left side with the uppercase, E, and then we'll work our way across towards the right. Let's go back to the center of the body, step down, add a curve going up and then down. Leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and down towards the left heel. Go back up to the top towards the right, go out and then down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Start from the left heel, bend the foot coming down and then up. Then I'm going to go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. I'm going to round this out. Come down aiming towards the heel, and we'll just curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now I'm going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip, then the leg going out, and then down on top of the feet. Now along the top, let's add a curve for the shorts, coming down and then up, and we'll line it up on the right side. Let's leave a small gap and draw that same curve for the top edge of the socks. Let's go back down and add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. Let's take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. Now I want to continue to add some more detail across the legs. Let's start by adding a stripe along the side. So we'll step in from the hip, spin this down towards the bottom of the shorts. And we'll add the number 20 on the left side. And then in the center of the lower leg, let's add two curves for a stripe. Going across the top, and step down and add one more. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw the inside edge of the arms. Let's start halfway between the chin and the hip. So we'll start right here. Then the arm going out and then down towards the wrist on both sides. From the wrist, draw a small half circle coming in and out from the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now you want to add three fingers on either side. So we'll start underneath the thumb, bend the finger coming down and then up around that bracket. Step down towards the side, go out and then up. And then the third finger, I'm just going to blend this into the arm going up and then in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now from the top of the arm along the inside, let's add the sleeve. We're going to bend this up and then out. Let's add that band across the right wrist from the top of the thumb, bend this up and then out. Step up and draw that again. Let's add a stripe across the outside of the arms. We step in, spin this up underneath the head. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Vinicius Jr. from Real Madrid. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. We've got some exciting news to share with all of you. We're offering a variety of incredible options to level up your art skills. Join our exclusive masterclass memberships for just $1 a month or catch more free tutorials on our Excel sketch channel every week. Don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities. So subscribe or join today.